We've all heard about the bonuses and dividends that companies are doling out after the GOP tax cut went through and lowered the corporate tax rate. One auto parts seller says, yes, it's getting a big chunk back, but they're going to use the savings to fuel a turnaround. Advanced Auto Parts tax rate dropped from 35 to 21 percent. That works out to a savings of 70, $70 million a year. The stock is down 30 percent over the past year as the company struggles to rev up sales. Joining me now in a Fox Business exclusive, Advance Auto Parts CEO and President Tom Greco. Listen, everything's down today. Yeah. Sometimes you get swamped in, in news that has nothing to do with you, although a competitor, AutoZone, came out with numbers and, and they're kind of swamping the, the sector here. But uh, let's talk about how you would use the tax return that you're getting from the lower tax rate to help with the turnaround and how you focus that turnaround. Well, we're really excited about the uh, the turnaround itself, Liz. We've been working on this pretty hard for the last 18 months. And overall, we have a plan that uh, is going to invest significantly back in our employees. We have frontline employees all over the country that were, are really important for us. We want the very best parts people in the business working for advance. So we already invested significantly in our frontline employees over the past 18 months because we knew that was going to be important. We have 5,000 stores. We have general managers in those stores, commercial parts pros. They're critical for our success. So we actually introduced a, a stock ownership program for them, for our top performers, so that they can earn stock in the company. And we feel that is a really good retention move for us. And uh, it has dropped our turnover significantly. Uh, I'd say that's a very good retention move because I was talking to somebody who works at another company and it's smaller. And he said, well, they couldn't raise my, my wages, but they gave me stock ownership. And smart people will understand that sometimes it's better to own McDonald's stock than <laughs> buy McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, what I am hearing you say is you won't be that company writing out the thousand dollar checks or, or hiking wages. Instead, you're going to turn this company around by beyond the employees doing what? Because you're facing an e-commerce giant, Amazon. You can't just ring fence yourself around and say, well, we're not going to deal with them. What have you done to take on Amazon? Sure. Well, we, we, we're taking a very long term approach to turning the business around. And as we studied companies that have been very successful doing what we're trying to do, you know, you've got to get the strategy right out of the gate. And we feel we've done that. Uh, we're investing in e-commerce and our technology platforms because we know that's going to be important. Uh, we've certainly made big investments in customer service because the experience that our customers have both online and in the stores is critical and then in our people. So when you talk about Amazon particularly, um, we've had to recruit some people into the company that can really help us compete vigorously against formidable competitors like Amazon. 